All right, everyone. Welcome back to MWE Satin. And now we are about to get started with our fourth match involving the continuing war between the Purple Thunder Empire and the Dragon Sisters. Seeing as how it's far from over. Because this woman, coming down to the ring, the Purple Thunder Paladin, Rachel Starlight, has requested a match with one of the Dragon Sisters. No telling which one will step up and face Rachel Starlight and put her in her place. Like last time on the last NWE Satin. And yes, finally, she is being accompanied to the ring by Lioness Mizami, who has finally decided to um, help her out. Unlike last time when she just stayed in the back while Rachel Starlight faced both the Dragon Sisters in a handicap match. So it's going to be time for us to find out which Dragon Sister will step up and face the Purple Thunder Paladin Rachel Starlight. Yeah, time for us to find out right about now. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. I guess it's gonna be Phoenix Blacksmith. I guess she's gonna be the one facing Rachel Starlight in this one-on-one -on -one match. And she is going to be accompanied to the ring by her tag team partner, Amber Nyhart. And yes, she is the Angel of Extreme. Because she can throw down with the best of them. So ladies and gentlemen, tonight in this fourth match, it will be the Purple Thunder Paladin, Rachel Starlight versus the Angel of Extreme and member of the Dragon Sisters, Phoenix Blacksmith. The crowd is pumped. So is Rachel Starlight going to be one great match you do not want to miss here on MWE Satin. And already trying to go for a tie-up but Rachel Starlight evaded it and followed it up with a face pressure on, on Phoenix. And now she got planned. Already not wasting time here. Mm, the Purple Thunder boot. I guess Nash about to go for the... Wait a minute. Ooh, nicely done here. But Rachel was able to get the shoulders up. Phoenix Blacksmith got hit with that countered arm drag. And now Rachel Starlight already setting up Phoenix Blacksmith with a finisher. The PTV. The Purple Thunder Vertebraker. And, and look at this. Her foot is on the rope and the referee's not even looking. Two... But Phoenix Blacksmith was able to get the shoulders up, thankfully. And let me um, take this time right now to thank one Jezebeth, a British wrestler who is um who was very nice enough on her on her blog to mention me, Mudatron, and and my channel, MWE1013. And to return the favor, I would like for you guys to check out her 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 YouTube channel and her Facebook channel for it will be on the description box. Please check this woman out. She is a great British wrestler who's um well let's just say she's doing very good and I would like for you guys to check out her matches and hit her up on Facebook if ever possible. Her links to both of her web pages will be on the description box. One for Facebook and one for YouTube. Please sub to her channel and add her on your Facebook. Anyway, enough with the plugs. Back to this match. As we see Phoenix Blacksmith in control here with that drop kick, and now she got hit, got poked in the eyes by Rachel Starlight. Ooh, now rake in the back of Phoenix Blacksmith. Putting a nice little arm drag. I mean, arm wrench, sorry. And now what she got planned here? About to go for it. Trying to go for a modified pin. But Rachel Starlight was able to get the shoulders up. Not bad of a rolling thunder. And I see I see Lioness trying to trying to trip Phoenix over, but to no avail, but instead gets hit with that with that face crusher or neck breaker. Phoenix Blacksmith with that Centon, springboard Centon on Rachel Starlight. And now putting in those elbows. Not bad of a takedown by the Angel of Extreme. 
and now now she has planned trying to go for an attack, but, but was able to evade that that grapple attempt. A bad of a snap here. Oh crap! Hmm, not bad of a move there. That's one of her sigs, and now she's going up on top. Phoenix Blacksmith about to go for the Dragon Swanton. Execute to perfection on Rachel Starlight. I don't think it is a good idea to do all that showboating. As you can see here, Rachel was able to get the pin, but the Phoenix was able to get the shoulders up. Falls it up with that cross hurricane rana. Or cross head scissors or whatever that was. Irregardless, Phoenix Blacksmith. Again going for her Sig. I guess she's now ready to put this one to bed here, folks. But not before putting in that standing moonsault. Rachel Starlight is pumped. No, not Rachel Starlight. I mean Phoenix Blacksmith. Many apologies for the mistake in the commentary. But screw it. Anyways, this is the third degree. The third degree by by Phoenix Blacksmith. And it looks like she's not going to go for the pin. But instead, trying to put in a submission to make her tap. Because she knows if she tries to pin her, she'll try to try to put in a reversal and there's Linus Mazami arguing with the referee arguing with the referee as Rachel Starlight was able to rake the eyes and put in a modified head scissors takedown on Phoenix Blacksmith both of these women putting in a great effort in this match hmm, not bad of a cartwheel elbow drop maneuver there by um, Rachel Starlight Kick to the abdomen again on Phoenix Blacksmith, but Phoenix was able to evade that grapple attempt. Trying to go for a back grapple, but Rachel counters. Rake to the back of Phoenix Blacksmith. Trying to evade, but missed. Trying to go for a running attack, but missed. Phoenix Blacksmith is in big trouble as she get hit with the back of the elbow of, of Rachel Starlight. Hmm, not bad of a flying cross... I mean, not flying form, but a flying... Clothesline. That was a moonsault from from way over there, and only got two. My commentary may sound crappy, but I'm trying my very very best to follow up on this match. Anyways, Phoenix Blacksmith got her in a headlock grapple, follows it up with a swinging DDT. Once again, goes over the ropes, going for a another springboard senton on Rachel Starlight. And now she's going up on top. And again with the Dragon Swanton. The Dragon Swanton on Rachel Starlight. And it looks like she's not going to get from this one. Two. And Phoenix Blacksmith gets the three, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, Rachel Starlight loses. But regardless, Rachel Starlight put in a great effort. But in the end, she got toasted by the Angel of Extreme. One of the... One of the members of the Dragon Sisters, Phoenix Blacksmith, as she celebrates with Amber Nyhart. We got more action still to come here on MWE Satin. So if you want to see more of this, I suggest to you people, do not go anywhere. Because we will be right back.